So Stu, one thing that's really interesting about this is I see a normal power cable here. Does that mean you don't need to pay for a dedicated power circuit? That's correct. Because this is just a standard 10 amp, it can plug into standing, any standard 10 amp power point, which means obviously that you don't necessarily mean a need a dedicated circuit. So in the situation, for example, where you're replacing a continuous flow gas, um, you wouldn't need an electrician to come to site. They could just plumb it, simply plug it into the existing power point. Um, the other situation is in an emergency situation, you may not be able to get an electrician there at the same time as a plumber. So an extension lead could be run out temporarily just to get you up and running until the electrician can get there to do the job properly. That sounds pretty good. And it so should save people about 400 bucks yeah, in a call out and charging. labor fees for a Sparky. Yep, about $400 oh. seems to be the average price of electrician charging to do that work, which you don't need in some situations now because of this bike. Excellent. This video was made thanks to generous support from the organizations and individuals on screen. Okay, we're here with Stu from iStore and we're gonna have a chat about the hot water heat pump range. I think you've got two models, Stu. That's correct, there's this one, which is the 270 litre. And we've also just over there, we've got the 180 litre. Um, both units, are the same same height, they're just narrower. Um, that's your to look at visually. That's your main difference, obviously, with your different capacities. There are a couple of other technical differences with the with the two heaters. This one has a uh, 850 watt compressor and a larger evaporator. Um, the, the the 180 litre it has a 600 watt compressor and a slightly smaller evaporator. But being a narrower design, it allows it to heat the water much faster into that to compensate. For that sort okay. of smaller. That's pretty interesting. And let's have a look at the specifications because people might not understand them. But what this means, 850 watts power draw and 4.0 kilowatt electric uh, heating capacity means that it's got a really high coefficient of performance? That's correct. So what that four kilowatts, that's how you get that, the high co uh, COP. That four kilowatts is how much energy is put into the water. And the higher that heating output or that heating capacity is, the faster it will put the heat into the water, which means faster reheating time, which means less running hours, um, which means a longer life motor. There's a whole range. So it doesn't use more power to do it, making it less efficient, or I guess you would say. It actually does the job quicker. And when you compare that number to most other brands, you'll find that that is one of the highest ratings you can get. That's pretty good. That means that it should last longer because it's not being used for as many hours per day. It's the same as a car. If a car's done 100,000 or 200,000 Ks, that motor's done less work, so it's got longer to go. Excellent. And if there is a rare chance that something has an issue, there's a pretty simple warranty? Yep. It's a standard five-year parts and labour. No grey areas. No, you've got... Labour is the most expensive portion of any warranty on any, on any product. You'll see that a number of manufacturers that will give a, they might say it's a five or a seven year warranty, but when you look deep into it, only a small part of that is the actual labor component. And that's the expensive part. We don't do that. We just say five years, labor, parts, we cover the lot. Don't put your hand in your pocket for anything. Excellent. Cause yes, that's true. Some of the slightly more budget brands say you're only covered for a year or two for labor. That's correct. Yeah. And the only thing that's separate is the pressure release valve Yep. And that's a small cost from a local hardware store yeah, if you do need to supply, re replace it. Correct. Any plumbing supply, Bunnings, you can buy that part over the counter anywhere. Okay, cool. And there's a little blue box here. Um, that's kind of new, I think. What is What features does that little blue box okay, have? Okay, so that's the Wi-Fi module. So the new models that are out now, they now come fitted standard with a Wi-Fi module. You don't have to use that if you don't want to, it can just be used as a standalone without complication. Well, it's not complicated, but without the use of the Wi-Fi, but it's there if you want it. And that allows you to remotely turn the unit off and yeah. change settings, etc. It allows you to see how hot the hot water is yeah. and turn it on and off. And it can all be controlled through the single iStore Universe app, same Correct. as the EV charger and the battery and everything else. Correct. Pretty good. What happens if there's a fault stew? Is there a, an alternative way to heat the hot water? Okay, so in the situation where you get a fault of some description, this unit has a built-in element. Now, it's a very small element, it's a one kilowatt element. It's not there to be used to actually heat the water during the normal heating cycle. 
it's purely there as an emergency function. So if you had a fault of some description, um, you would get cold water, you would come out to the screen, push a series of buttons which will ring us and we could tell you how to do it. Um, we would tell you how to activate the emergency function element to get your hot water until a technician could arrive to, to get to get it all back in, in, um, in action again. Um, and the other thing too is it's got these QR codes on it so that if, if you needed to you can go to these QR codes and they'll take you straight to our website with our help guides and videos etc. So we're trying to make sure that no matter what the situation is you always have hot water of some description. Excellent. Because no one wants to wake up in the morning and have no. a really cold shower. No, definitely not. We tried to take care of everything. Excellent. Cheers. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.